Hello, 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 family. How are you doing? Welcome to Rosmo Bogot Farm. We are located in Khabane, and Khabane is 15 kilometers away from the city. Well, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and like our video as well as comment below. Today's topic, very interesting one, management of kids. Someone commented below and said, uh, I should do a video about management of kids. So I'm gonna go step by step and I hope that will help you. All right, cheers, buddy. So management of kids, uh, one of the things that I really, really advise people when you want to manage your kids, you don't manage your kids when they are, you have just dropped them and they are on the ground. No, we take care of their mother six weeks before they give birth. But also, let's go back, let's go back. When you mate your goats, because we also mate goats so that they produce kids. So when they mate, you make sure that they are on a good condition, body condition three over five or four over five. They are not too fat, but they are also uh, good in shape. So you, you know, there are high chances of twins when you have fed them very, very well. And there is also a high chance of them producing the best body shaped kids. Okay. So number two thing, take care of their mothers be, uh, before, six weeks before they give birth. How do you take care of them? We take care of them by confining them into one area we make sure that they eat sleep and drink and they don't go out they don't waste energy we make sure that because the kids grow faster when they are left with six weeks uh, in their mother's stomach so we make sure we give them the necessary food uh, feed in rosemo we provide them with luben pellets as well as uh, uh, lucerne okay so also a goat is pregnant for 150 days. So when a goat is 100 and pregnant for 150 days, what do we do? We make sure that we don't man manhandle it in the last 50 days. We don't inject it unless necessary in the last 50 days. Even if the vaccination is written, it's written uh, uh, you can inject pregnant animals. Don't inject them unless it's, it's uh, important, unless you want to save that animal. We inject our goats with exotic abortion way before they, 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 we, they mate with our bucks so that we can try and avoid abortions in our crowds. And then number two thing that we do is we make sure that we inject them with Multivex P+. Multivex P+, covers a lot of diseases. So the last 50 days, we don't inject them with anything. We only give them vitamins, we only give them vitamins, solubles also, like ovimin, in water. We don't handle them. So, uh, number three, once the kids drop, we make sure that the ground is clean. We clean all the uh, droppings of all the goats. We make sure that the pens that they are going to give birth on is quite clean. And after that, when the kids drop, we make sure that we take an iodine. We spray with iodine spray in the umbilical cord so that it's a, like a disinfectant that uh, our kids don't get to get uh, diseases from the ground. So we, we spray the umbilical cord with iodine spray. And number four, once they, our kids now reach, let's say two weeks, we, get, we make sure that we keep water as well as feed in our grounds. So feed in terms of lamb grip. Our lamb grip, you can go in any agri shop. They are always having lamb grip. But I, I, I have now choose, chosen the way to always provide lucerne as well as luben pellets. It works wonders for the kids. You can see how healthy they are and how they have. These are two months old uh, goats. 
I'm sure you have seen them the last time we were, pro we were providing Ovimin as well as putting the ear tags. Look how big they are now a month later. And we are going to be separating them at three months. Now, we provide them with feet and we make sure that water, lucerne as well as Luben pellets are always there. They are not missing. And we make sure also that we keep sulfur 16 for coccidiosis. Uh, a lot of kids, they can always be affected by coccidiosis. So sulfur 16, it's a very good So when a, a kid is uh, struggling with a uh, runny stomach, you, or maybe when you introduce them to new feed, you, you make sure that at least sulfur 16 is there because they might end up having a runny stomach. And number two, multivex is quite important. When we separate them at three months, because we win our goats at three months, when we win them, we also inject, we give them a booster shot of multivex P+. And we are always, any sick animals, we always inject them with antibiotic, and we deworm after multivex P plus we deworm them with um, uh, valbazine or prudos orange. But one of the things that I didn't mention also is that when a goat is when a kid is sick, uh, there are other medicines that I'm going to tell you, and I don't know if you know them. They when a goat is sick, when a kid is is born and is stargazing, we always make sure that we provide all the nutrients via ovimin and we provide the stress pack via electroguard and one important thing is that calciject always have your calciject as well as bicoholic bico, bico, bicoholic I, I i think i've mentioned that very well so all the kids that are stargazing we make sure we give them bicoholic uh, via injection and then we give them uh, calciject and number three thing that is very, 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 very important is by boost or ovimin that provides all with the nutrients. And should we have a, a problem whereby a mother gives birth and the kids don't, and the mother doesn't have enough milk, we bottle feed our kids. We always provide tummy. Tummy yellow, I told them one thing. Man, when I had a little wrong, of never had one hour. So I did what tummy and you see much. So we always give. We put an entire on our kids uh, that are really struggling. We give them milk uh, via uh, bottle feeding. And that has proven to, to do the work. And you can see now they are two months. We are going to be winning them end of this month. And when we win them, uh, what is going to happen is we are going to inject them with Multivex P+, deworm them with Valvazine or Prudos, as well as uh, we are going to spray them because ticks don't know that a goat is young. It doesn't recognize that this goat is still young. A tick will come and bite it. So we will inject, inject them with also uh, uh, any oxytritlin. We have talked about oxytritlin in our previous videos of medica goat medi med medi medications. Sorry. So look at our kids, guys. We are loving them and I hope uh, my, our management of kids uh, before they give uh, their mothers give birth and before uh, we we win them uh, has helped you guys. Ah, it's quite heavy. Uh, one of the things that I like about this one. Remember, this one is heavy, eh? <laughs> Look at the the head of this this female. It's quite beautiful. Look at the horn formation. Huh? Look at the horns. They are quite perfect. This is a potential start. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't carry it more. This is a potential start animal. Look at the body size of it at two months. I love it, man. I love it. Let me teach you about something very important to look at goats. Uh, always choose animals with a lot of space in between the horns. Why do I say that? It's make sure that your head is big. This, this whole space, it doesn't only be seen or, 
or it doesn't only uh, be seen on the head. It affects the whole body of, of a goat, okay? So this space goes here. You can see how wide it is. Huh? Look at how wide it is, this kit. And then it goes back to the ramp. Okay, let me show the ramp. Eh? Come and hold it here. So the same space, now look at here. If you have a goat with a lot of space like that, or a kid with a lot of space like that, it's going to be easier for it to give birth, either to big kids or to any big animal that is going to mate her once she's six to eight months, because we made them at eight, six to 10 months. So it's going to be wide here. It's because of that space between the horns. And number two, the ramp also is going to be longer because it is, we start with the head and when the head is wide like that it affects the whole of an animal look at the width uh, the the ramp as well as the space so you will definitely always get uh, bigger animals coming through here it is going to give birth way easier way easier so an animal like this it's a perfect and it's for keeps. We are not going to sell it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for tuning to our, our channel on YouTube. We are Rose Mobile Gold Farm for a reason. It's because of your love and your support. And again, I'll say, if you are new, please consider subscribing, like, and comment below. And if you have any, any new topic that you want us to cover, to cover, please inform us by commenting below. But we'll just uh, pick some of the uh, topics that we feel we we, we know them far much better than the other ones. We are not expert, we are learning, so you can come and learn with us. Ciao, ciao guys, we love you, we are one big family, we are going to grow bigger and better. Ah, is it is it a nice one, Temba? This one, I can't see it properly. Ah, ah, man, it's bukitu. Well, we're not getting rid of the winner two months. They are huge. <laughs>